You won a European Junior Silver Medal this year, and I think a lot of people thought that it was a bit of a surprise that you didn't win the gold. What lessons did you take away from the final? It really, well, at the start of this year, I hadn't really won anything, so most of the medals I've won this year was quite a surprise to me. So even getting to the final of that was a surprise because I had a medal at every competition running up to it, so I thought it'd be really hard to get one. But yeah, really, I, I would like to win the final, but I was still happy with silver. At the time, I was I was really angry, but there's nothing you can do about it. Really, you just have to train harder. And we've I've studied the guy that beat me now, so next time I fight, him, I should beat him. Too a bit more prepared, maybe next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, a lot more prepared. Yeah. Looking forward to the next six or seven months. What are your plans leading up to the Olympics? Because I know that you're in terms of junior rankings, you're world number five at the moment. But in terms of the senior, it's got to be quite a different story. Yeah, so how yeah, close so are you to qualifying for the Olympic it's Games? It's a big difference in the seniors because I'm. Being 18, it's a lot. There's a lot of big strength difference as well when I fight abroad, mm. so I'm gonna have to get used to it by doing like lower level senior tournaments and then hopefully getting better at the higher ones. But yeah, just doing as many senior tournaments as I can and then hopefully try and get a medal at a big, a big event and then hopefully that should bring me through to the Olympics. So what can we really expect to see if you did get to the Olympics? What would be your aim next year? Hopefully to get a place or a medal. Definitely, definitely a place or a medal. Now, obviously, your dad's a bit of a star in the sport, and uh, a few years ago now, he won bronze in Seoul. Do people compare you to your dad, and if so, does that sort of give you something to live up to, or do you think that puts a bit more pressure on you to, to achieve in the sport? Yeah, some, some, quite a lot of people do. I'm always saying you have to do better than your dad, or you have to do the same, or you can't let him do better than you. But I don't really see it as pressure. It's just like, it's just something to, it's like a bit of a competition, really, like tournaments he's done before, I try and win and stuff. So. Yeah, it's not, I don't really see it as pressure. But it's a good fun rivalry, and I, yeah. I bet your dad's a good role model to live up to. Yeah, right? definitely, yeah. Definitely a good role model, good coach. I'm always with him as well, so I have a lot of time to talk about tactics and training. And it's a good relationship between the coach and he's my dad as well, but it's a good relationship being a coach. Like, when we're on the mat, he's just my coach, not my dad. And then after the mat, he's my dad. Yeah, it's a good relationship between coach and the player, yeah.